10 pins, a ball, and the correct run-up. That's all there is to 10-pin bowling. It's especially popular with youngsters. The ball slides easily along the oiled lane to its goal. Karl-Heinz Funk thinks that bowling is easier than Kegel or Skittles, which is played with nine pins. His firm makes both bowling and Skittle alleys. With bowling, you have different weights, but the ball is always the same size. With Skittles, the ball is smaller but very heavy and not easy for children to play with, so they prefer bowling. Here in Epfingen in Baden-Württemberg, Funk makes 600 skittle and bowling alleys a year. He took over from his father three years ago. Although he's got a business degree, he didn't want to work for a large company. As a child, if someone asked me what I wanted to do when I grow up, I'd say make skittle alleys. And what did they say? They laughed. Now he's laughing. With a staff of 200, Funk has a turnover of 20 million euros a year. Now he's got to modify the test plant because the sports association has specified new pin shapes. The advantage of this new shape is that it's supposed to make more pins fall than before. This increases the player's success. It makes skittles easier. As well as traditional skittle alleys, Funk began making bowling alleys in the 1990s. But the German market is more or less saturated, so a third of the production is exported. Near the Swiss city of Zurich, mechanic Andreas Nagel is working on a new bowling center, 10 alleys side by side. Each requires a ton and a half of wood, and surfaces have to be completely level. There are strips of felt under here. The screws go over it, over the felt strips. We put the screws on over it. I can adjust the surface by tightening the screws or loosening them. The customer pays a total of 33,000 euros a lane, including the machinery. It works, Ingo. Back to Eppingen. When I was in the office, I could look across to my wife in the kitchen. This is where Karl Funk Sr. founded his business. When he was 18, he worked in customer services for a Skittle Alley manufacturer and suggested a lot of improvements. But his boss wasn't interested. He said, you young upstart, what do you know? You'll make it the way I do. So I watched for six months. Then I said, I don't care what you say. I'm going to make the machines myself, and I'll do it the way I want. And they'll be better. Since then, they've sold 44,000 alleys. Now his son will have to guide the firm through the economic crisis. But while other mechanical engineers are complaining, Turnover here is stable. People are no longer joining golf clubs. They're returning to familiar activities, to skittles. Socializing is popular. A bowling alley is always popular as well. So I think we're even benefiting from it. Funk is also the first European firm to specialize in technology that sets up the skittles without using cables. Karl Heinz hopes that his new computer-driven automatic facility will score high marks, especially in Russia, where bowling is really catching on.